Today is going to be a new video and it's going to be on WorldCard today. Uh, this is a plugin to protect and you will be able to find it on sk98q.com. I will link you there exactly uh, in the description, like down below. And you will need World Edit. You can find that on the same page. And you want to click World Card, download, and right here you want to press download again. Already did that, of course. I am prepared. Now, up in our server folder, which we made with our server tutorial, this is obviously the same folder from Windows, just Macified because I'm on Mac now and I need to get everything ready for that. Everything is all right for it. So, my run.bat became a start.command. It's the same just with the Mac commands. And in plugins, we find WorldCard now. We, I just had to drag this jaw over and this contrib folder. And you don't really need the contrib, but I suggest you just drag it over with it. Now, once we start the server, this WorldCard folder, folder will be generated. And you can go in there and you'll find our config. There's a world folder as well, but we won't get into that for now. So let's open up our config and see what we got here. We got a lot of information now. And what do people want to do? People want to block TNT because TNT is bad. So you just go, true, keep in mind that every option is not applying to ops. Ops can still place TNT, ops can still damage blocks with TNT, ops can still spread lava. So keep in mind, if you op someone, he has the superpowers over this plugin. So what I like to do is block TNT, obviously block TNT block damage. You can also only use block TNT block damage so people could still blow up TNT but it wouldn't hurt anything. A block lighter looks like a good idea as well so people don't set everything on fire. Then there is disable lava fire spread uh, that is already off by default and it's a good thing. Disable all fire spread? Ah, uh, not really. You can do that in game as well with a command. Now you can do all the mobs here. So for example block creeper explosions if you have a beautiful town and don't want it to be destroyed. Or you could disable fall damage. You just have to really work through here. There is a lot of information on basically everything and you might have heard my dog in the background. And yeah, you just save that. I'll do that right now. Save. And we're good. Now go back and let's start up our server. Just double click our start command and we'll have our console here. And here we are. You see here, Lighters are blocked, lava fire is blocked, fire spread is unrestricted. However, we can restrict it in the game. Now TNT ignition is blocked, can't really help that. And I set that so, and it's going to show here. It displays this for every world because I said earlier there was a, a worlds folder inside the world guard. And in there, there's multiple configurations and you can set config values for every world, but I don't really do that, and you can obviously get into that, but I, I will make a tutorial if you want me to, but I really don't need it, and I don't use it at all. And we got that already running, so we can minimize it and close the folder. So let's get on Minecraft. I'm gonna load up, uh, just lock in. Okay, so Minecraft loaded up. Let's put it on full screen so you people can even see anything. Doubt you can right now. And uh, go to other full screen on. And we're good. Done. And multiplayer direct connect to localhost. And here we are. It's nighttime and there's a creeper in front of us. So let's do game mode. Uh, a real melon. Be one. Ah. Game mode. One. A real melon. I keep messing this up. I'm used to it like just doing slash creative. Put time set to zero. Okay. Now we can fly up here and just quickly do plugins. 
to see uh, we have the plugins loaded. Now let's, I want to show you how you stop the fire spread in the entire world. Because right now every fire will spread. In fact, if I set fire to this tree, it will spread. It will set this tree on fire, and that one, and that one right there, and that one. And the entire forest basically. So you do not want that to happen. Therefore, there is a command. You can do stop fire slash stop fire and fire spread has been globally disabled by world for world by a real melon this is a world specific so you can do stop fire uh, pressed return by accident stop fire world underscore nether uh, it's not called world nether whatever it's called, I think it's uh, not an underscore, it's just normal, whatever. Um, let's continue here. You can do it for the walls later on. And that's really it for the protection part. And I'm going to be having a second part of this uh, explaining the regions because World Guard has some pretty good working regions. Um, I can't really show you any examples. I will show you examples of it in action as well next round. Not next round, next video, next round, well that's funny. And um, you should keep in mind that there is better plugins for making regions prior to watching my next video. However, this one is probably the most responsible one of them. So if you went and disabled like, I guess, fire spread, it will immediately shut fire off if it happens. Essential will keep it burning for about three seconds, which looks kind of weird, but it will shut it off as well. So yeah, keep that in mind, and that was this video. The next video is going to be up maybe today as well. Hope today. I'm going to be doing it right after this one, just hoping it uploads quick enough, because my internet is kind of slow right now. So thanks for watching, and I will see you.